and welcome to today's What I Eat in a Day. You saw that I just put together my breakfast. This is something I actually saw on Instagram that I wanted to recreate. They call it an egg fold over and I'm really excited about it. It's a good amount of carbs, fiber, and protein. And then I paired it with some blackberries and some blueberries. I did have my protein coffee this morning. I drank about half of it before boot camp, finished it up while I got ready for the day. So I've had that, so I've actually already gotten in quite a bit of protein today. So what I did for my egg fold over was one full egg and one egg white. And then I did one serving of ham and one slice of the light sharp cheddar cheese from Trader Joe's. So let's try this out. Oh, and a low carb tortilla. Mmm. The tortilla is nice and crispy. Kind of feels like a fried tortilla or a tortilla you'd put in your air fryer. And then the ham and the cheese and the egg, so good. This is fantastic. Super low calorie, super low point. Like I said, lots of fiber, lots of protein. Definitely a breakfast I'll be putting into my rotation. Just for the record, Palmer is right here and Lola is right here. So the whole family is in here because I have some breakfast. I had such a good workout at boot camp this morning. We actually ended up doing 85 burpees. We, we do birthday burpees and one of our girls in our group turned 51 and the other one turned 35. So really 86 burpees this morning. In addition to the rest of our workout, it was a really good way to kick off a morning for sure. I have a call with a company for some information on a project I may be working on for you guys. So I'm going to chat with that company this morning and then I have a coaching call. I need to organize my eyeshadow palettes. A lot of you think this case right here is books. It's actually eyeshadow palettes and they're a little discombobulated and messy. So I'm going to organize those today. I also need to wash my, wash my beauty sponges. I'm not quite ready to wash my makeup brushes, but my beauty sponges need to get washed. So I'm going to be very busy and productive today. Troy's actually heading out for a few hours with his dad. So I have the house to myself and we're going to get as much done as possible also ordered this really cool blanket from Amazon for summer. So I'll share that with you guys. It should be delivered today. So lots of fun stuff going on this today. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up my breakfast. Hop on those couple of calls first thing this morning. So here are all my eyeshadow palettes. I usually have them organized by brand, but there are some brands that I have a lot of, like this whole shelf is one brand and it's, you can see that it's just overflowing. So I kinda, so I need to make it into a second shelf and kind of just reorganize everything by brand just so that it's not so discombobulated and messy. And I do actually have some room on that bottom shelf. So I'm going to do a little bit of rearranging and then I actually have more eyeshadow palettes in in my closet in these bins. So I have quite a few in overflow. What one of my goals is this year is to go through a lot of my backup makeup and skincare. This little white cabinet here is all backup skincare. And then these cabinets over here have like, have my hair tools and product that I use for giveaways for you guys. So my goal is to get, eventually get rid of this little white bin set and this black set get another one of these shelves for eyeshadow palettes so that I don't have as much overflow makeup that is definitely one of my goals this year I also have this set of drawers here on the side of my vanity that has other backup makeup in so I've really tried to condense down and again use up what I have I'll probably be filming a beauty room tour on my beauty channel so if you're interested in that definitely subscribe but Today's mission is to reorganize this shelf. 20 minutes later. 
Okay, much better. I ended up taking my Unearthly Cosmetics, which is my favorite brand, and I had a few extra palettes, so I stuck them right there. And then I moved one of my other favorite brands down a little bit further. So I have some room here, which is good because these couple of shelves here, these two are the brands I buy the most palettes from. So that allows me some room to grow my collection. And I have organized everything else. I actually have some room on this shelf as well. This one's pretty full. And that one, we've got just a tiny bit of room. And we've got a Lola. Yes, you got a Lola. But it looks so much better and much more organized. I am going to make a protein coffee and I'm going to have one of my breakfast cookies that I made in meal prep. Let me grab those. So these are the breakfast cookies that I made. They are so good. You can store them on the counter for about two to three days or put them in the fridge so they last a little bit longer. I put them in the fridge because I need these to last the entire week, but I'm going to have one of these. They are so good. There's no added sugar. It's all bananas, oats, to reduce sugar craisins, walnuts, so good. So if you're interested in this recipe, it's on my website and it was in Monday's meal prep, so I'll link my meal prep video. But I think today I'm going to do a blended coffee. It's going to be about 95 here today. So I'm gonna do my typical 35 gram of protein coffee. So first is my cold brew from Drag Up. That is the cold brew that I use. Right now I have the mocha mint flavor, so I'm going to do a pepperminty mocha type of blended coffee. Any flavor of Drag Up cold brew is absolutely amazing. You simply put it in the funnel of the cold brew pitcher, fill it with water, keep it on your counter for 24 hours, and you have the best cold brew, really the only cold brew that I like. So I'll link Drag Up and I'll link my cold brew pitcher down below for you. I'll actually link everything because I do add Clean Simple Eats protein, one scoop, this is the chocolate brownie batter. Any flavor is good, but like I said, I'm kind of going for a mocha mint. And then I add in two scoops of the Herbalife high protein iced coffee in mocha. So between these two things, I'm getting all of the chocolate vibes. And then I'm actually going to use some of the Chalk Zero peppermint, sugar-free peppermint syrup to again, add a little bit more mint. Now this does have a little bit of a mint undertone, but this will just really enhance that a lot. Love these syrups from Chalk Zero. Nice, clean ingredient and really, really good flavor. You can see mine's just about gone. And then recently from Chalk Zero, I picked up their chocolate syrup. I haven't even opened this yet. One tablespoon is 45 calories. So I think what I'm going to do is just drizzle one tablespoon in my glass so that I really am getting the Starbucks frappe vibe. But this is going to be 35 grams of protein and under 300 calories. So really, really great. And then like I said, I'll be having one of my breakfast cookies as well. I just opened this and tasted this. This is so good. This tastes like Hershey syrup. There's no weird aftertaste or anything in this. Okay, I'm really glad I picked this up. Doesn't this look amazing? I actually didn't even use an entire tablespoon of chocolate. I'm going to kind of stir it in, but I had to get the aesthetic part of it first. Mmm. That's so good. It's a very faint peppermint taste from the syrup. I only put about a tablespoon in there, but it's just the right amount of minty. It's really good. Chocolate and creamy, decadent, love it. So I'll link everything down below for you. Chalk Zero, Drag Up, Herbalife, and Clean Simple Eats. 35 grams of protein. So the cooling blanket just got here. You can see that it just arrived on my doorstep. I'm so excited for this. It is already 95 here in Arizona, and we are looking at another scorcher for summer. We were actually just talking about that at boot camp. I mean, it's like 60 degrees at 5 a.m. when we're working out. So I picked up a cooling blanket. If you remember last year, I got a small one for the dogs. It's actually still on their dog bed in my office. They love it. One side of the blanket is cooling, and one side is more of a cotton material, which is a little bit 
better for the warmer months. I'm so excited for this. I picked up a smaller blanket so I could have it out on the couch when I'm watching TV, take it with me in the car or when I travel. So I'm so excited it finally arrived. It is from the brand Elegir, and you know I've purchased multiple things from Elegir. I love the brand. You can buy it right off of Amazon. I actually have a 10% discount for it, so I'll put it all down below for you. Let's open it up, get it on my bed, because I'm so excited to have a cooling blanket tonight. The Elegir cooling blanket keeps you cool all night, even in warm and hot summer weather. It actually absorbs your body heat and reduces your skin temperature by four to nine degrees Fahrenheit instantly. I love that it's double-sided. So there's one side of the cool blanket that features the Art Chill Cool fabric. That's the fabric that has the ability to rapidly absorb and dissipate heat 10 times faster than cotton blankets. And then the other side is perfect for the little bit cooler months. It's lightweight, it's portable, it's easy to carry for use in your bedroom, living room, sofa, camping, travel, car, or airplane. It's great for indoor or outdoor use and anywhere that you want a cozy blanket to keep cool or warm. It's hypoallergenic and skin friendly and contains no harsh chemicals or toxins. It's even cool to the touch because it has this really cool Japanese Q-Max cooling fiber, which actually helps keep you cool through the night. So like I said, I'll link the Elegir cooling blanket down below for you. I'm actually going to hop in the shower tonight a little bit early, maybe even before I make dinner, and then I'm going to chill with my chill with my cooling blanket tonight. I'm so excited. So again, I'll link it down below for you with a 10% discount. It's lunch time, and we're gonna test out one of the products I picked up in last week's Nutrition haul and taste test. I actually bought a bunch of snacks from Nutrition, and we taste tested them in last Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. And one of the things I bought were these zero carb pitas. So I actually ended up putting them in a Ziploc bag and then throwing them into my freezer. That way they would last a little bit longer. But these are from the brand No Slim Foods, soft and fluffy, zero net carb pitas. They're only 55 calories a piece. Now I don't track net carbs, I track total carbs, but they only have seven grams of carbs total and then seven grams of fiber. So that makes them zero net carbs. And then there's even seven grams of protein. So this is what they look like. So we're going to use this and make basically a tuna salad pita pocket so we can get in tons of protein and fiber. So I have a couple cans of tuna. I actually put these in the fridge this morning because I like my tuna salad super cold. So we're going to make up two cans. That way we have some leftovers for the week. I'm going to add some mayonnaise. I'm using chosen foods, just regular regular avocado oil mayo. We are out of light mayo. And actually this one just has better ingredients overall. And because it is the whole full fat mayo, I actually end up using less of it in the tuna salad. And then I always add sweet relish. And I have this not looking so hot sumo mandarin. It feels really soft and ripe though. It's been in my fridge. So I'm going to have this on the side. So let's test these little pita pockets out, see how they taste and make up some tuna salad. Why does love always have to be this hard? It's gonna feel like All right, so I made my lunch. I ended up doing one half of a cup of the tuna salad. So what I do is I just enter the entire recipe in my recipe builder. So both cans of tuna, the amount of mayo that I put in, the amount of sweet relish, and divide that out by half of a cup servings because that's typically what I'll do. So I went ahead and filled the pita. I will say these pitas are really, really thin, but I actually kind of like that. So we're gonna test these out together, but I did go ahead and do the mandarin, the sumo mandarin, it actually is perfectly fine. She just didn't look pretty, but it's still nice and ripe and perfect to eat. And then I actually threw on a few of those little mini cucumbers as well. And this is all on my Uba Home plate. These are pre-portioned, ready to go plates. I've owned several Uba Home pre-portioned plates, pre-portioned bowls, love the brand. So I'll link Uba De Home down below for you with a discount, but let's test out these pitas. So like I said, they're really, really thin, but they stayed in place while, they stayed together while I put the tuna in there. They're a little chewy because they're so thin, I think, but I can't tell the difference between these and regular pita. So not bad for 55 calories, seven grams of protein, seven grams of fiber. 
perfect vessel for a pita sandwich. Time for the daily special bone. They are patiently waiting. So again, right now I'm using the smart bones. I buy these on Amazon, I'll link them for you. Here's what they look like. They're perfect because they don't have any raw hide. They're made from chicken and it takes them a while to eat these. So that's always a big benefit. Okay, are we ready? We are ready for special bones. Oh, there you go, pumpkin. Use a special bone. And a special bone for you now. I'm gonna have a afternoon snack. I had a pretty early lunch, so I'm a little bit hungry and I want to make sure whatever I have is going to fill me up and keep me full until I make dinner a little bit later. So logically, logically I need to make the cottage cheese whip because I'm obsessed with it. I shared it for the first time in last Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. If you missed that video, you have got to make this. It is so incredibly easy and delicious and the possibilities for it are endless. So you're going to need cottage cheese. What I would recommend is half of a cup to three quarters of a cup. So whatever your preference is, I usually do three quarters of a cup and I use good culture just because it's my very, very favorite cottage cheese. And then you're going to need frozen fruit of your choice. You can use any frozen fruit. For a while I was using blueberries, but I'm out. So I bought these on my last grocery haul. This is a blueberry, strawberry, and mango mix. I think the mangoes are gonna add a little bit of extra sweetness because I actually do add a couple packets of whole earth sweetener in because it's just not sweet enough without it. But maybe the mangoes will pump up the sweetness a little bit. And then I add a little bit of vanilla extract and a little bit of water and you blend it together. And literally you get this perfect, perfect, moussey whip and then I top it with a little whipped cream and then some more fruit. Usually I use fresh fruit. I do actually have strawberries blackberries and blueberries in my fridge, so I'll probably pop on some fresh fruit, but it's so simple and it's super delicious. Gives you moussey ice cream vibes and super high protein. So here she is. I'm telling you, this is literally the best thing in the whole world. It's such a great snack. It's an amazing, amazing dessert. One of my favorite things and just packed with protein, super low calories, super low point. If you haven't tried it, you definitely have to try it. The recipe is also on my website. They're all clean. I only use my makeup sponges once. The little powder puffs I'll use more than once because I'm just applying powder with these, but the sponges I use one time. So I actually go through, you know, six or seven a week because I do my makeup almost every single day. So they are all clean and ready to go. And then I just keep this little basket in my closet and when they're dirty, I just throw them in there. So I'm going to allow them to dry, put them away, and I feel very accomplished. For dinner tonight, I am making Tuscan chicken Chisin chicken pasta. This is an actual Weight Watchers recipe, so it's low in points, low in calories, high in protein. So let me show you what you'll need. So the recipe calls for chicken broth. I have beef broth on hand, so I'm going to use it. I mean, really, you could use any broth. You also need some non-fat plain Greek yogurt, baby spinach, minced garlic, pasta of your choice. I, of course, am using my fiber gourmet pasta. Half the calories, half the points of regular pasta, packed with fiber, packed with protein, Tastes just like regular pasta. It's my all-time favorite. This is something I always purchase off of Nettrition. Nettrition has the best price and the biggest selection, and I actually have a 10% off discount code for Nettrition, so I will link that for you. There are some amazing, amazing things on the website. I do quite a few taste tests of snacks from Nettrition. I actually did one in last week's What I Eat in a Day, so you can grab the Fiber Gourmet Pasta and some of your favorite snacks. Italian seasoning, sun-dried tomatoes, chicken breast, chicken tenderloins, fresh basil, 
Parmesan cheese, cottage cheese, and salt and pepper. So I have a big stock pot over medium heat that I sprayed with some nonstick cooking spray. You can also make this recipe in a skillet or in a crock pot. So I'm going to add my sun dried tomatoes, big heaping scoop of our minced garlic, Italian seasoning, and salt and pepper. And we're going to let that cook for just a minute or so so the garlic becomes fragrant and the tomatoes soften just a bit more. Then we're going to add in our diced up chicken breast. And we're going to allow that to cook for about three to five minutes or until it's brown. Then we're going to add three cups of broth and our entire box of pasta. And then you just want to make sure your pasta is all under the liquid. Pop it on high and we're going to allow this to cook until our pasta is ready. The pasta is cooking. I have three quarters of a cup of the low fat cottage cheese. I'm adding that to my little Ninja Blender cup. I also have three quarters of a cup of a non-fat plain Greek yogurt and then two thirds of a cup of grated Parmesan. We are going to blend this all together and it's going to create our sauce. So our pasta is pretty much soft. I mean, just a couple more minutes, but by the time we finish putting in the rest of the ingredients and let that kind of cook down, our pasta will be perfect. So I have my fresh basil leaves. I'm going to sprinkle those in. And then our baby spinach. And we're going to allow it everything just to kind of wilt down a little bit. And then we're going to remove the pasta from the heat. And then the last thing we're doing is mixing in that cottage cheese, Greek yogurt, Parmesan sauce. This is basically going to be the creamy sauce and it is packed with protein. And then just stir that in until everything is coated. I do have my stove turned off, but it is really hot still. So it should warm the sauce through without any additional cooking. Look at how amazing this pasta looks. Oh my gosh, it's so creamy and cheesy. I'm so excited for this. This entire huge pot of pasta is only six servings. So it's a good amount of pasta per serving. Let me go ahead and plate this up and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here is dinner. This looks amazing. I did top it with a little bit of extra Parmesan cheese, literally like half of a tablespoon. So I'll go ahead and put the information here on the screen for you. It is the end of the night and I'm ready for some dessert. And I'm gonna have a Clio bar. I bought these at Whole Foods. They were on an amazing, amazing deal. These are the Clio Vanilla Zero Sugar Greek Yogurt Bars. These are only 100 calories and they have seven grams. Yeah, seven grams of protein, only 12 carbohydrates. So not bad at all. And it is kind of a chocolate, it's like chocolate coating with a yogurt style mousse. I'll pop it open and show you guys what the inside looks like, but it's only 100 calories each and seven grams of protein. Zero sugar, keto friendly. It's strained Greek yogurt, cheesecake texture with a chocolatey coating. They're absolutely delicious. I love all the flavors, but honestly, the vanilla is probably my favorite. So I'm going to have one of these for dessert and that's gonna finish out my day. Me on, then I'm at you.